What's good, YouTube? It's Nathan Xavier. I'm gonna be going over my wash and go routine in depth and show you all the products I use. So before I wash my hair, I go in with the Olaplex number no. three hair perfector. And what this does is basically just helps repair and strengthen my hair, especially my color damage. I have color damage in the front of my hair, as you can see the browns. That damage is getting taken care of and the proteins are getting into that area as well. So it can be healthy and strong. So first you're gonna damp your hair and apply the number no. three hair perfector throughout it, detangling through and making sure that it is evenly coated throughout your hair. After you finish detangling, you wanna go in and put in some twists so that the moisture can lock into the hair. You wanna do this in sections. I do mine in four sections. You can split it up into as many sections as you'd like. You wanna repeat the process for every single section. So I'm gonna do it four times because I have four sections. It's a little bit harder for me because I still have my undercut being grown out. I'm trying to put the undercut into the rest of the hair and it's just not cooperating really, but it's all good. So we leave it in for about 10 minutes before rinsing it out in the shower. And yeah, take out the twist when you're rinsing it out. You wanna make sure that all of that is out. I love how the girl from the ring. For our shampoo, we go with the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Fortifying Shampoo. This helps regulate the pH balance of my scalp and health of my hair. I need this because of prior color damage to my hair. So this helps a lot. This product contains no sulfates, parabens, or artificial colors. I usually shampoo my hair in twists, but like I said earlier about the undercut, it's just harder to manage, so. You want to go in twice so the first time you're just trying to get lift up all that dirt and build up from your scalp and the second time you're really just going in and just making sure that all of it is out for our conditioner i go with the maui moisture heal and hydrate plus shea butter conditioner it's a hydrating conditioner as my hair tends to be very dry after washing it with shampoo. So this helps put that moisture right back into my hair. And just like the Olaplex number no. three hair perfector, I'm gonna be doing this in four sections again, making sure that I detangle through and I start at the ends and go down to the roots. And lastly, put them in twists so you can maintain the moisture for a couple minutes. I leave these in for around five to 10 minutes before rinsing them out. This is how they look. Nice, cool, awesome. Yeah, thumbs up. Now go rinse them out. Look at those curls. Damn. Yeah, nice, nice and defined. This is a little hairball. It wasn't that much hair because I washed my hair a couple weeks before and detangled it or a couple days before. Not that much hair loss, you know, because we're gentle. You want to be gentle when you're detangling through your hair so you don't rip out so much hair. You naturally shed, so obviously you're going to lose hair, but you want to keep it as minimal as possible. So this is how my hair looks without any product in it. So it looks a little dry, but the curls are still defined. So next, we're going to go in with some deep conditioner. I'm using the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. This helps restore strength to damage or brittle hair. So a lot of my products are kind of damage based simply because I have the color damage in the front of my hair and I just apply it through everything else. So for my deep conditioner, I think in this one, yeah, I did it in six sections instead of four just because I wanted to see if most of the undercut can be held in if I did more sections. So I tried six and it's the same process as the detangling from the conditioner. You just wanna apply the product through. You wanna start at the ends and work your way to the roots and then put them in twists. And you wanna do this for every section. After completing all sections, you wanna put them up in a bun or a high puff 
and you want to put a plastic bag over it i mean if you have a shower cap you can use a shower cap but i don't got no shower cap so i'm using a plastic bag and a blow dryer to apply heat over it so that the deep conditioner can actually get into the hair then i put my bonnet over that and i wait 30 to 60 minutes we take it out and rinse it after that When taking out the twist, you want to be very gentle and you want to make sure to detangle through a little bit so that it's still detangled and when you're rinsing it out, it can just be a little easier. Okay. Next, we're going with some leave-in conditioner. I'm using the Miel Rosemary Mint Blend Strengthening Leave-in Conditioner. It's also infused with biotin and supports longer, healthier hair because of the rosemary as well. And same thing as before, we're applying in four sections, detangling through, going with our fingers over, going with our fingers under, but we're not putting it in twist this time because now we're styling it. So you wanna do this for the all four sections before moving on to the styling cream, which I'm going to be using the King Curls Hydrating and Defining Curling Cream. It's very thick. And very good at defining my curls. I like this product a lot, very much so. It holds very well with my hair. My curls look very defined and shiny after using them, as you can see. I'm doing the shingling and coils method right now into my hair. So I shingling three pieces and then I coil one. And I'm doing that on both the undercut and the top of my hair, just because my undercut kind of acts as like a seat for the top of my hair. So my hair kind of like pokes out and sticks out rather than like hangs down. And if you want a tutorial on the shingling coil method, I'll leave one down in the description. I've made one, I think like last year around this time. Be sure to check it out if you definitely wanna learn how to do this style. This is why I made the four sections to make it a bit easier. I'm gonna be doing the shingling and coils for all four sections, same process each time. I know I said this was like a wash and go, but I like to define my curls a little extra just because I want them looking like really, really nice, really, really defined. It does take a little bit of time. This took me like an hour to do. So it's not really, I don't know, you can kind of, Put it as a wash and go, kind of not. This is how it looks before diffusing it. You see the definition, like, come on, like, wow. Okay. <laughs> and lastly, we go in with our oils. We're using the As I Am Dandruff Oil. I tried this before, this works wonders for me. I have like very, very dry scalp. So I apply this every couple of days and it keeps my scalp good, healthy, nice and moisturized, not much dandruff or any dandruff at all. And then after that, we go in with the King Curls hair growth oil y'all should know from my video before this is like the secret sauce this is like one of the best products i've used for my hair to grow really well if you go down in the description i'll leave a link to king curls website where you can also use discount code king nathan for ten dollars off all orders above fifty dollars so make sure you go down in the description check that out so next we're going to diffuse our hair and this is just going to help speed up the process of drying it nothing too crazy but it does take some time it took me like 10 to 15 minutes just to get it the way i wanted it to be semi-dry but enough to pick out the roots so i could add volume but you can see the definition through this video like the definition is crazy right now we're just trying to stretch the hair just because i want more of that length as well combined with the volume it's hard to get the best of both sometimes you just got to do your best with it you feel me so now we're picking out the roots to add that volume and trying to maintain most of that length but like i said earlier the top of my hair just hangs on top of or like sits on top of the undercut so it kind of pushes it outward more instead of like dropping so it gives me a little bit more volume which is nice but 
it's just taking me a while to get used to this is like the new look but look at look at the curls look how nice this looks like we washed our hair our scalp is clean our hair is clean our hair is nice and defined we about to get a cut soon too maybe i don't even remember if i did but these are the results i hope this tutorial has helped y'all out too with y'all wash routines or maybe even styling your hair like i said earlier i'll leave a link to the king curls website down in the description make sure to use code king nathan for ten dollars off all orders fifty dollars or more and you can have results like this too if, if you follow those so yeah it's nathan xavier i hope y'all have a good one and i'll see y'all in the next one Hey, dealing with niggas like Bad Jazz, she's sending snack, can't snap back. Wanting to feel like I have back, reaching my backpack, we put your cat back down.